Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. Thought I would do a little outfit of the day. This is kind of that black and white trend that I did the trend video on um, about a week ago. So anyway, I'm wearing my um, leopard print pants from H&M and I absolutely, I love them. I love the way they fit. I think they have the, one of the best fits when it comes to pants um, that I've worn in a while. So let me show you guys what I have on. So these are the H&M pants that I was telling you guys about. I showed them in my black and white trend video. I really do like them. Um, the fit of the actual pant is really, really nice. You can see it's very, it's flat fronted. And there's just one pocket back here on this side. Um, but they fit, you know, nicely, like in the hips. They're not pulling. They're not snug anywhere. They just fit nicely. And then they are um, like a skinny leg. They just go down. So I really do like that. They are stretchy, but not like too stretchy. They're not like overly, you know, where they're like pajama stretchy. They're just the perfect amount of stretch really um, to be a suitable pant like for every day. So I really, really like that. I like the black and white because you can play off of it. You can pair it with so many different colors. I just put it with a black blouse today and I, this is a very long, it's a tunic. It's a very long blouse, obviously. What I did is I didn't tuck the back in. I just take the front. And tuck the front in like that. And then the back, it kind of pops it up a little bit. Um, and I like the way that looks. And of course this kind of, you know, settles into its spot throughout the day. Um, but it makes the pants look a little high-waisted. And I, I like that. I think it's, you know, pretty. Um, so the pants are H&M. My wedges are from Cosmopolitan, 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 um, from JCPenney. I bought these last fall. Love them. They're the perfect kind of pointed toed wedge heel, and they just, they go with everything. They're very comfortable. Um, my blouse is from Target. You guys have seen it a million times. I wear it a lot with leggings because it's so long, um, but you just roll out the sleeves. My necklace was a birthday present from my sister-in-law, and it's really, really pretty. It's just a spike necklace. It's actually gold and pink. I don't know if you can see there's some pink in there. Um, they're dipped in, like, a pink. Every now and then you'll see the pink. Um, gold and pink. It is from Nordstrom. Okay. It's from Nordstrom. That's what um, the packaging said, the box on it. And I don't have any earrings on. I was going to wear um, my only gold stud earrings are my Kate Spade hearts, but I didn't think that went very nicely with the gold necklace, so I didn't put that together. Um, and then on my face, I've got the Lorac Baked Eyeshadow Trio that I love in Star Power, I think. And then uh, my cheeks are Max Dame. Dame? No, not Dame. It's not Dame. It's not well-dressed. What is that blush called? Wow. It's bright. I will put it down below because I need to go look it up. Um, and then on my lips, I have on Max Cream Cup lipstick because um, I'm trying to salvage it since my son stuck his finger into the lipstick. Um, so it's all mushy and it's sitting on my vanity and I just kind of mash it on my lips when I think about it because I don't want to waste it. I love it. It's a, it's a really pretty soft pink shade. So that is what I have on my face. On my nails, I've got Essie's Come Here um, nail polish. It's kind of a reddish, it's, it's an orange, but it's more red orange than anything else. It's really, really pretty. It's from their resort collection, the resort 2013 collection that it's been out for over a month now. And I really did not care for the colors. Um, there's some blues and some greens. And you guys know that when I wear blues, I feel like I have man hands. I feel like it just does not it does not go very nicely with my fingers. Um, so I stay away from the blues and the greens and I thought I didn't really need the red, but I think, you know, I don't really have a color like this. Um, I've got red like lollipop, um, but I didn't have like an orangey red like this. So I thought that would be pretty, especially for toes for summer. And then they do have a new neon 2013 collection. It's like their 
I guess early summer, late spring collection. You know they're coming out with these collections kind of regularly now. Um, but it's the neons and the colors in that are so pretty. And I am not, I just told you again, I'm not a fan of blue or green, but they've got some of the most beautiful blues and greens in that collection. They're like, it, they have like a neon undertone, so it makes them pop really, really nicely. And what they've done is they have suggested that you paint these neon colors on top of a white base to get like a higher impact. Um, so they're suggesting you use the Blanc nail polish, which is Essie's version of white, but you know, you can use any white and who cares what you use, but um, just the white and then you put the neon on top, which is, you know, it's a good idea if you really want that color to pop, because sometimes you do put colors on it, it's not like what you see in the bottle. And so that white will help it. Now for me, it's a little impractical because when I paint my nails, I have a very small window of time uh, when I can paint my nails and let them dry completely before I need to pick up my son or do something, you know, with my hands that change a diaper or something like that. Um, so for me, it's impractical to paint my nails white and then paint, you know, two layers of a neon nail polish on top to get that impact. Maybe I can try it. Um, once my son is asleep at night someday, but usually by the time he goes to bed, I'm conked out too. So I just don't have the time for three coats of nail polish plus the top coat plus the base coat, right? So for me, I stick with just, you know, two shades of whatever color. And I keep doing this because this nail has a chip on it. I was washing dishes. So I'm like hiding it from you guys, right? Because I'm doing that, I'm hiding it. Anyway, um, really pretty color. And there is a pink from the neon collection that I really want to get. Okay, so that is my outfit of the day. Hope you guys are doing great. Thank you so much for hanging in there. I know my videos have been kind of slow coming um, because I don't have a lot of time to film right now. I don't know why things have just been a little hectic, a little crazy, and I'm still very nasally. Um, and I don't like to make videos where I'm sneezing the whole time, which lately, every video I record, I sneeze three or four times. Sometimes, you know, if it's one sneeze, I, I excuse it. I'm just like, okay, you know what, everybody sneezes. But if it's like, you know, back to back sneezing, like some of these have been, um, I just, you know, I'd rather save you guys from that. Uh, as well as the nasal sound. I mean, I sound like a man. Seriously, I feel like I sound like a man. I feel like I'm talking from like a different voice box or something because it's all so nasally. It's annoying. Anyhow, so that is that. I hope you guys are doing great, like I said. And I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.